Hello and welcome to the channel. I'd like to share for my very first video and pardon me if I make a few glitches along the way but I'd like to share with you a story that uh, I had begun to document a pair of Mississippi kites that built a nest uh, next to our driveway in a very large oak tree. It's about 60-70 feet tall and they uh, the nest is about two-thirds of the way up and then from the front yard uh, I was able to find a location where I could set up my tripod with the Z9 and 800 with a 2x teleconverter on it to sh uh, gain a to show access to the nest uh, as they flew in and out from the nest as well so this started in the middle of May of 2023 here in North Central Texas where while working in the front yard uh, for about a week I was out there every day and uh, I saw them flying in and out with large sticks which I thought was odd, I'd never seen that before, never witnessed that before. So it became apparent very quickly what, what they were doing was building a nest and uh, we've lived here for 23 years and never have we had anything like this happen in, uh, in, in our yard. Uh, we had noticed that they build nests out in the big pine trees across the street in the neighborhood, but never here. So I was very fortunate to be able to uh, document after they built the nest and once they laid their eggs, sit on the nest for about 33 days before they uh, had any chicks. So the first day that I saw any chicks, I only saw one. Uh, and then the second day, which the first day, June 30th of 2023. And then the second day, I saw two chicks. One was a little larger than the other, which you'd expect. Um, and then I thought what I'd do is document their progress from, from, from this point forward uh, up until they grew up and flew away. Well, I decided to cut that documentary because that's in the future because of what's what has transpired in the last couple of days. So I hope you enjoy the show and I hope you're intrigued to find out what it is that happens. And I'm sure you're going to be as surprised and shocked as I was. Enjoy the show. parents just showing up with a morsel to eat. Hopefully you're going to be able to see the chick or chicks a little bit better than we did yesterday. Today is June 30th. Friday, 8.46 a.m. Beautiful day. Here's the head. Oh my gosh. Would you look at that. Oh, she just flew off. Left the bug in the nest. Oh, it's looking for its mom or dad. Oh, I see. I think I see a second one. Yeah. The second parent is waiting its turn to feed the chicks. 
And there it is. Wind's blowing pretty good. Probably about 10, 15 mile an hour at least. A bit breezy today, but it feels good in this heat anyway. Looks like the second one may be getting a little bit of food over to the left of the nest. In my guess. Oh. It's Saturday morning, July 1st, actually a fairly pleasant morning, a little bit cooler than it was in the last few days for sure, and uh, yesterday I definitely confirmed that there are two chicks in the nest, and on the left side of the nest you can see one of the heads barely popping out, and then one of the parents just flew in with a uh, new bug to feed the chicks. We'll see if we can see both of the chicks. Probably three or four days old at this point. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's the one on the left side of the nest. I mean the right side of the nest. In my observation, it's always the one that's on the right hand side that gets the majority of the food. And the other one on the left side, the head you can barely see doesn't get quite the preferential treatment. Mm -hmm. There's a second one getting some dinner now. That's good. Like feeding time may be over and time for a nap. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, my gosh. Hmm, there it is. Okay, buddy. There's one of them. Gotta fix up the nest. to get underneath again. Nap time. We 
you can see the xenon autofocus in action. just uh, flew off and caught a bug and came back to the nest. So hopefully we'll see the two chicks here shortly. It's Monday morning, July 3rd, 2023. Eight twelve a.m. Beautiful day here in Texas. Seems like they're getting bigger by the day. Pops up number two. Oh, that was interesting. A little lizard that the parent brought to the nest and the little chick swallowed it whole. Looks like the chick's fighting with the other one. Not sure. That's not cool. Yep, look at them. little thing. Man, them two ones fight, the old bigger ones fighting with the other one. Wobbling. That's not cool. Bully. Looks like we have a bully in the nest. It's sad to see. Well, this morning after taking Bella for a walk, I've come back and come outside and I see that we have a bully in the nest. The two chicks, the largest one is pecking away at the smaller one who's protesting profusely. 
and I'm sure hoping that both of them are going to survive. It's a long way down for that little other little one to f fall. That thing is re relentless, just won't stop pecking away at the other one. Oh man. Uh, it looks like that one of them is not going to make it. It's pretty tough beating by the other one. Yeah, you can see feathers flying. So sorry to see this. I wish the other one of the parents would come and put this to an end. Ah, that's brutal. Wish I could do something about it. Shit, that little guy's relentless. Non stop. Hmm. Hopefully the mother or the father, whichever one it is. Oh. Looks like the uh, bully gets preferential treatment in nature's world. Still picks at it while its mother, parents there. Unbelievable. Unreal. Mm, that was a big chunk of food down the hatch. And the other one's not getting any. Oh, there it goes again. Unreal. Mom's intervening a little. Oh, gosh darn it. Trying to 
and separate the two looks like. Gosh darn it. Looks like she separated the two now. Turkey vulture flying up above, circling the tree. Oh, nature sure is brutal. The least I was expecting to see. Shocked, actually. And there it goes again. Definitely trying to protect it a little bit, which is encouraging. See that the parent's gone. Yeah, both of them are still in the nest. And there's the big bully. Most likely going to be the survivor of the two. Nature is unreal. I'm watching the two chicks in the nest. The larger one is beating the shit out of the small one. And uh, I'm, not, I'm afraid it may not survive another day or two. It's crazy to watch this happen in front of my eyes. And luckily I'm recording it, period. There, the parent flew off. There he goes back to beating the shit out of the smaller one. Oh, man. I've been watching this go on for almost 30 minutes and even one of the parents comes in and cast, tries to stop it but then flies off to get another insect. It's too bad. Oh no, the other one. I've got 
got to believe it's trying to push it out of the nest. <clears throat> And that is a full-scale war going on up there. Oh. And then Kast tries to stop it, but when flies off to get another insect, it's too bad. Well, I've been watching. Looks like it. one of them is not going to make it. It's pretty tough beating by the other one. Well, that other little chick has to be exhausted. I just can't see it lasting the remainder of the day. Here it is, it's only it's like 8.30 in the morning. <clears throat> How cruel is nature sometimes. laying over. Oh. <clears throat> How vicious. Took about a minute and a half rest, and there it is, back at it again. Oh. It's hard to believe that we're celebrating 4th of July today, this great country, and yet to see this just, just blows my mind. The reality of how brutal nature can be, I guess. Well, the relentless beating just continues. And the other poor chick has got to be laying in the bottom of the nest exhausted. And yet, oh, hopefully... It appears it's not even interested in the food, just interested in beating up the other one. Oh no. Oh no. Mother is pulling it out. Oh no. Oh. Oh, look where all the feathers have been plucked off of it by the other one. Oh. Oh no.
You gotta wonder what's going through the parent's head. She looks like she's trying to protect it at the moment. But I gotta believe it's gotta be near the end of its poor life. It looked exhausted. Something is going on, I'm not sure what. It appears as though she may be trying to cover it up. And the other one, Bully, keeps going back in and It's sure looking like after today, there's only going to be one chick. Oh, so sad. Yeah, it looks like she's trying to push it underneath her. See feathers coming out. Oh, there it is. Yeah, ma'am, we're looking at you. We're all seeing how nature plays out. Maybe we'll learn something of the mindset of how all this works. Certainly above my pay grade. As soon as mother leaves, back at that little chick. Mm. Here comes a parent, I think, flying, circling above to them. Oh, man. Well, I'm not sure how much more I can take of this. Got to be, got to be the end. And uh, with that, I think I'm gonna sign off. <laughs>